Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at yet another trucker convoy failing spectacularly. While all of these terrified goateed man-childs in crusty no-fear shirts are trying to human centipede their rigs at the border, the actual truckers are working hard to keep the shelves stocked and the coolers full. Conservatives have shifted their clown cars and emotional support trucks into high gear, doing everything they can to stop the Taylor Swift juggernaut that will inevitably back Joe Biden. I'll be having a laugh with the desperation and silliness surrounding their latest outrage on OAN and Fox, as well as the Republican plans to counter Swift. An exclusive guest returns to discuss Lauren Boebert's move to the 4th District. There's fresh crazy from Mike Lindell's tech fail dumpster fire network and more, but first this. If you could, for the speech tonight, if everyone could, please keep their hands above the table. And I know it's date night from some of you, but no inappropriate touching. That includes you, Lauren Boebert. No vaping either. That was Lisa McLean at the Washington Press Club Foundation's annual congressional dinner that is supposed to be fairly loose like the target. It's never a good sign when you're going down like a boat at a Trump parade and your peers are throwing you bricks instead of a lifeline. It is pouring MAGA tears. I was tied up earlier in the week, and it's great to be back here with you. Laugh along with the great people in the comments while I blast the latest in stupid and more. I am looking for the best lawyer in America to help me appeal the case that my Melania stunt double lawyer, Alina Habadabadu, lost. But she looked terrific doing it. You know, the court stuff. I have instructed Eric to put down the turd tongs and find me someone smart but still hot. He mentioned Tiffany is a lawyer, and I had no idea who he was talking about. And so he showed me a picture, and I was totally confused. Why are you showing me? this Walmart flyer model. This is really cool. George Santos was expelled. Removing the only gay astronaut ever elected to the United States Congress. Over that holiday, I had to ask the question, what exactly have I gotten myself into? And then I looked at the bright side. I could be Mike Johnson. See, some are saying it's not fair that he went after Santos because he's not there. But I think it's important to remind these idiots that he was there for a long time and they fought to keep him around. And yeah, I think every day is a great day when you wake up and you're not Mike Johnson. Everybody, and welcome back to my, uh, uh, the Lindell Report. Uh, to Brandon, are you there? Yes, I am here. Uh, what was the... Uh, these two guys are making a show out of their homes and they still can't get it sorted. How are you late to the room next to your bedroom? And Lindell is in what? Uh, is that his home cinema? I'm guessing that's what those controls are behind him. AV people, let me know in the comments. I'm going by that box and the singular seating. No heavy petting here, folks. Lindell needs to concentrate on the latest from Kevin Sorbo and Kurt Cameron. I do just love how he has a candle in a dollar store flower tin. Gonna class the place up. No popcorn here either, folks. Probably has a George Foreman grill to make steak sandwiches. The GOP with the 168 that we've had to deal with. And, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and, go ahead and talk Let's about go to that. the Daily Mail, guys. Bring it over here to my computer. After three years, these clowns have still not figured out that there are professional subscriptions you can get. You don't have to rely on residential broadband in Skype. America's pop star celebrity sweetheart joins forces with the top dog in the NFL, playing for the team that's going to the Super Bowl. I mean, let's be real here. This is bread and circuses on steroids. Major League Sports in and of itself is nothing but a psyop. Get kids plugged into the cycle of going to public indoctrination camps, playing sports for their school, and going to games. Many end up devoting their entire childhood to competing in various sports, only to be cut from the team, at which point they become brainwashed into supporting professional teams because they know their dreams of becoming a pro athlete will probably never happen. Well, you dreamed of being a journalist and you're on OAN. Sports keep kids active and healthy, teaches them to work as a team, it helps them build confidence when they win, and teaches them how to handle losing, something OAN's hero cannot do. 
I never dreamed of becoming a pro athlete. I was the smallest kid, but I still had fun. I play football, soccer, and street hockey with my son and his friends. And there's usually a kid that thinks he's going to go to the big leagues one day. And we let him have that dream. So then they become obsessed with some grown man who gets paid millions of dollars every year to throw a ball around while promoting poison death shots and child slave labor through various brand deals and endorsements. So sad. No, it's sad when an athlete is promoting something that can save your life. And you're against that pure idiocracy. Imagine being so brainwashed by sports, you actually show up to your team stadium to shovel snow for free so you can watch a bunch of grown men who are overpaid tackle each other. <laughs> Seriously, though, trudging through three feet of snow amid a massive blizzard just to watch a game? Yeah, sorry, you couldn't pay me to do that. I have relatives in Buffalo, so the Bills are one of the teams that we like to support. And we thought the snow shoveling that went on there was an incredible moment of people coming together. And the Bills did pay the shovelers $20 an hour. And I talked about it with my son, like, if we lived there, would we have done it? Yes. I mean, have you ever shoveled snow? It tops riding the spin bike or running. It is hard work. And here we are, knocking physical fitness, community, and, well, work, jobs, they got paid, and they were part of something special, something they'll remember forever. Just imagine for a moment if people were as dedicated to Jesus as they are professional sports. I think the country might look pretty different if that were the case. But sadly, as we know, it's not. And perhaps that's why we're witnessing the crumbling and degradation of our once great nation. Instead, all we seem to care about are the celebrities and athletes propped up by the Hollywood elites and this ongoing theater, this fake, carefully crafted show that the masses have been hypnotized by and can't seem to turn off. It's rather rich to try and suggest that sports are indoctrination and then say everyone should be in church, which is indoctrination. I say again and again, people believe in whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, but 99% of people didn't get to pick their religion. The same way you were born into a house that supports Chelsea, the Bills, or the Bulls, your parents are Catholic, you're going to be Catholic. Sometimes we'll be watching a game and my son will be like, I'm going for Miami. I don't fight him on it. I'm like, all right, you got the Dolphins today, kid. You know, very few deviate from the church their parents take them to. I highly doubt any of Mike Johnson's kids got to pick their religion. People have been watching sporting events for thousands of years. And yes, it's big business because people want to see the best of the best compete. A stadium that puts 80,000 people in the seats is like Disneyland for a city. It employs loads of people and props up the surrounding restaurants, bars, hotels, Uber, and so forth. Now, I confess, I mostly watch games on TV because my son is too young to fully enjoy it live. And it's a tough pill to swallow when you spend 300 bucks on a game and your team loses. This is why I've always been more of a concert guy. When I buy that Rolling Stones ticket, I don't go into the show thinking, oh, I hope they win. Yeah, when you go to a rock show, you don't have to worry about the band losing. Breaking Break. news, breaking news. It has we just been announced. Them, we want them to embrace us, everybody. They need to embrace us. They need to embrace this when we get there, and that's what we're going to be going there. What do we got, Brad? Good evening. I'm Tucker Carlson, and tonight I want to talk about Lauren Boebert, the trailer swift Colorado congresswoman that bailed on re-election in the state's third district after she realized she would struggle to beat her Democratic opponent, only to run in a more conservative area that would give her less liberal opposition, with the hopes that voters would gravitate to her brains-off, bottoms-up, hands-on way of doing business. Oh, I don't think I can beat Adam Frisch and Ken is retiring. Better load up the baby, make an F-150 and head east. <laughs> In a straw poll, what are those even anyway? Sounds like something you asked Don Jr. Rolled up 20, tiny spoon or straw? Well, Lauren Opal Boebert received 12 out of 117 votes, and the Buell Theater reject is using her leftover wrist strength to push back. Since it was a pay-to-attend event, and that the other candidates had a lot of family and friends there. Huh? What is that about? Lauren Boebert is a 30-something grandma. She has enough family to make a TLC show, and she couldn't get them to turn up for her? For her job? Even if they were unavailable, it says a lot that you couldn't get any friends to show up. Next time you're looking for support, maybe throw a poster on the front door of Jason's No Questions Wood Shack off the 36. Password Beetlejuice. So why was no one there? 
What happened to the bartender, Ted Cruz, the Christian rock musician, Craig, DJ Johnny D, or even Mr. Fong? Do they still have a bad taste in their mouth after her contaminated slider incident? Or were they just too busy to support the woman who's convinced she's the daughter of wrestler Sweet Stan Lane? And she's not. Is she? I'm just asking questions. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. Uh, we're winning, Brandon. And uh, um, I know your great show's coming up next. We're, we're supposed to be doing handoffs on this show now. Since you're on my show, I'm going to hand it right off to you. How's that? <laughs> that sounds good. All right. That's the Lindell Report. Be sure to go to handoffs. Uh, that's what we're calling them now. Okay. Looks like the show is going the Lauren Boebert route. I kind of have a problem, though, with the hardcore Taylor Swift fans. They are totally over the top worshiping this woman. Have you seen any of the pictures I've, of her in concert? I wouldn't go myself. I don't do that kind of thing anymore. But I think what they call it is uh, they're elevating her to an idol, idolatry. This is a little bit what idolatry I think looks like, and you're not supposed to do that. In fact, if you look it up in the Bible, it's a sin. So I don't like that. And I'm also... These people are such a joke, and they love to grab for the Bible when it's convenient for them. Have you seen MAGA? They worship Donald Trump. They even had a golden statue of him at CPAC. His supporters get his face tattooed on them. Newsmax is just sad because their media stable peaked with straight to VHS Kevin Sorbo. They are terrified that someone so big is not in their corner, so they're trying to take her down a notch, and it's not going well. The Chiefs Ravens game set a record with 55 million viewers. This is what you're up against. Why would you tell half the country that you don't agree with them in this highly polarized time? You stay out of it. Hey, listen, I'm Taylor Swift. I like this guy. He happens to play football for a living. I'm on the stage yep. a lot selling out. That's it. I think, I think it would be the craziest thing ever for her to do it. And Joe Biden's not worth it. In Taylor's own documentary, when she first spoke out, her management confronted her and warned her that she could alienate half her audience, and she was fine with that. It's impossible to know how many fans of hers lean one way or another, but it's more important to tell the truth and to fight for what's right than to be concerned with upsetting some of your fans. True fans will like you no matter what, and there are some that may get mad for a bit, but when that song comes on, they'll turn it up instead of skipping. And there are many that she will actually get through to. They inherited their views, and maybe it's time to look for themselves, see what Taylor's on about, instead of constantly listening to their red hat dad who's never had a passport, and he's now down at the border with the failed convoy. Censuring Representative Ilhan Omar of Somalia, I mean, Minnesota. That's not a slip of the tongue. She wrote that down and followed through with it. I'm just surprised they aren't showing up in white robes these days. Keep it classy, MAGA. And by the way, we can do this as well. We don't have a Taylor Swift on our side, but you know who we have? We have Kid Rock. We have Ted Nugent. We have influencers, right? We have all these people, John Voigt. We have people that can come out and use their audiences, number one. Ted Nugent conned MAGA with his camouflage, even though he went to great lengths to avoid military service, admitting in a High Times interview that he crapped his pants and took meth. And in a 1998 documentary, Nugent openly admitted to having affairs with several underage girls. He said, I was addicted to girls. It was hopeless. It was beautiful. He legally adopted an underage girl who legally became his daughter. He later had a relationship with her and admits to sleeping with her and released a song titled Jailbait about his love for minors. John Voigt, he's nuts, and his own daughter wants nothing to do with him. Influencers, oh yeah, put those face tattoo rappers making songs like MTG, for reals, against arena superstars like Taylor Swift. Jack also forgot Scott Baio and Randy Quaid, who dropped those crazy videos about socialism and voter fraud, the same Randy Quaid that fled to Canada and tried to claim refugee status. Donald Trump announced a Nashville fundraiser on February 22nd featuring... Kid Rock. Tickets start at a grand and go up to $23,000. Kid Rock is shooting up beers in his backyard and doing cringe Trump shows, while Taylor Swift is setting records and giving life-changing bonuses from everyone on her crew, from the caterers to the truck drivers. 
Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie, again, a good dude. Uh, my tin brisket with Twinkie dyed hair, Georgia Gremlin, has had one of the greatest weeks of her life. She has been working overtime to waste money and man hours on an impeachment against Mayorkas. She confirmed that Biden's brother, Sleepy Joe Bro, coming in for a hearing, and her former best friend turned arch enemy, Lauren Boebert, is doing super bad over in the 4th Colorado district that she relocated to as part of her, like, 4D chess master plan, you know? Because you gotta go in the 4th district if you wanna do 4D chess. That's how it works. Now, apparently, Lauren Boebert got 10.3% of the vote in a straw poll. You know, I kinda want to go to Colorado because the globalist deep state paper straws I get here just disintegrate before I'm out of the Starbucks drive through with my $9 blended coffee cookie crumble sugar bomb. Now many people are saying this poll was unscientific. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess Dr. Fauci wasn't available to show up like his Bunsen burner or Lemire flash and a microscope. Well, Marjorie loves the poll and she's been celebrating nonstop. In fact, I would have to say she's out of control and I have to remind the blonde meat swamp that I'm happy to indulge in her bulge. But we have to be aware of the risks. You know, I've stared at a top secret laser, no visor, and it did significantly less ocular damage than the time I walked into the kitchen and I thought she was standing on a pair of monkfish that looked like they were bat smashed with Joe Beshi in a hole at the end of Casino. Thumpy thump. Nobody needs to be exposed to those rotting root vegetable ribbon toes that look like a firework accident at the unlicensed corn dog booth by my doctor's note not required under the overpass pharmacy where I meet drifters and buy imported pepperoni pills. You need to keep those crispy fried egg in a cast iron pan and souls away from my vision because what is the rule, MTJ? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. It was Biden's failure to respond or even visit. No money for U.S. citizens or American railroads because Biden sent it to Ukraine. Mega tears. Bald and ignorant is no way to go through life. Mega tears. I will vote Trump no matter what prison Trump is in for Democrat lies. Mega tears. While all of these goateed, terrified manchilds in crusty no fear shirts are trying to human centipede their rigs at the border, they would give her less liberal opposition with the hopes that voters would gravitate to her brains off, bottoms up, hands on way of doing business. <laughs> My tin brisket with Twinkie Dot. <laughs> <laughs> in a straw poll what are those even anyway it sounds like something you asked don jr rolled up 20 tiny spoon in fact i would say she's out of control but i have to remind the blonde meat stomp stomp, stomp. <laughs> next time you're looking for votes looking for support in america this country maybe throw up a poster on the front door of jason's no questions one shack off the 36 Password Beetlejuice. Thought MTG was standing on a pair of monkfish that looked like they were bat smashed with Joe Pesci in a hole at the end of Casino. <laughs> what happened to the bartender, Ted Cruz, the Christian rock musician, Craig, DJ Johnny D, or even Mr. Fong? Uh, I knew I wasn't going to make it through that. Handoffs. Is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> Guess Thanks for watching. Please stick around and check out another one of my videos. Say hello in the comments. Find my stand up on Spotify, stream by millions, and add me on Facebook and Instagram. It all helps. Be cool, be kind, take care.